Hey everybody, I'm back. Good morning, bird watchers. It's Robin with Creativity RV. And like Willie Nelson said, I am back on the road again. Now, since you've seen me last, which was in September, five months ago, a lot has changed for me, and I'm gonna tell you all about it. But first of all, I wanna thank everybody that sent me well wishes and emails asking how I was doing, because in my last video that I did in September, you guys know that I had COVID, I got really run down and had to take a break, and I did. And I'm doing great now, I'm happy and I'm healthy, and I'm glad that I took that time um, because I needed it. And while I was on my break, I wanted to assess two things. First of all, did I still want to be a nomad? Did I still want to live full time and travel in an RV? And the answer is, hell yes, I do. I mean, I love this life. I can't imagine giving it up and I'll probably keep doing it until I can't get up and down the stairs of this RV anymore. But the second thing was, do I still want to do YouTube? Now, if you guys know anything about my story, I left my corporate life um, in a regular house because I discovered that I could live in an RV and live on so much less that I could pursue my creative endeavors full time, which are writing and painting. Um, and I just wanted to tell other creative people that this was possible. So I started a little blog called creativityrv.com. I never thought that I would do YouTube, um, but I'm glad I did. And I've had fun growing my channel and I've had fun getting to know you guys, but I never expected it to be what it became and take so much time. And so I really wanted to make sure that it's what I wanted to do because I was spending so much time on YouTube that I wasn't writing and painting. You know, I, I did a couple of nonfiction books, but I wasn't working on my fiction um, and I didn't paint at all. So the first thing that happened when I took my break was I started painting and I was painting 10 hours a day when I wasn't traveling and I still am. And during my travels, ideas for my books just flood into my head and I have to run inside and write them down. So that's been really good. But also along my travels, I wanted to turn to you guys and go, did you see that? <laughs> or tell you about things that I've learned because I've learned some great stuff and some not so great stuff, um, which happens when you're in an RV, it's real life on the road. And I wanna tell you about some of the stuff that I've learned. So I'm back, I'm gonna keep doing videos and I'm still on the road. But let me tell you about the two big changes um, that have happened in my life. First of all, Doug is not here. Doug and I broke up. It happens just real life. Um, we're still best friends. I still talk to him every day. But we decided to go down two different paths. Doug got offered a great opportunity for a job that was non-remote. He had to go back to the sticks and bricks and I did not want to do that. I wanted to go, go, go after I got better. Um, and so for now we've gone our separate ways and um, that's okay. But after he was gone and I thought about traveling in the fifth wheel by myself, which I had done for a year before Doug came on the road, um, it just felt like a lot. You know, I was still really run down and you know, putting in the slides and putting up the legs and hooking it up and unhooking it just seemed like more of a chore than I wanted. I wanted to go and travel and see things I never had before. And so um, I have a friend that's let me put the fifth wheel onto his property and it's just being stored there. I haven't gotten rid of it um, because I still love it, but I got something smaller. It's right here. Um, and I'm gonna show that to you guys in an upcoming video. Uh, you know, it's smaller. And so I was able to go more places and just stay for a few days and then move on and go up hills and fit in smaller spaces. Um, but I think you guys will be surprised by what I decided to go with um, because it sure surprised the hell out of me. I never thought that I would be traveling in something like this. So next week I'll show you that. But since I've been on the road in the last four months, I've been to seven states. I've camped in the desert, on the beach, in the mountains, and I've had the best, best time. And like a lot of us, I don't know what's gonna happen now the gas prices are so bad. 
Um, I definitely can't go as far um, as I was planning to until they get better, like a lot of us. And I might go back and stay in the fifth wheel now and then. I'm not sure. Um, you know, I'm figuring it out just like all of you are. But that's part of the adventure, right? I mean, uh, I don't know where I'm going to be and what I'm going to do um, in the months and years ahead. But I'm hoping that I get to talk to you guys about it when I do do it. So stay tuned because not only am I going to show you the rig and the travels I've been on, but I'm going to talk to you about what I decide to do going down the road. And some really exciting things are developing for me. Um, and I'll share those with you along the way as well. And uh, look, what's it all worth? if we don't take a minute to assess and make sure that we're living the life that we're supposed to be living. I did, and I'm really glad I did, and I hope that you do too. And I'll see you guys next week. Until then, I hope you're all doing well out there. Have happy travels and be free. Mm -hmm.